Hello students and welcome to our channel. If you like the explanation, do not forget to like and share the video and leave a comment. Subscribe to our channel. To get notified on the latest uploads, do not forget to press the bell icon. For more study materials, video courses and tests, do not forget to download the Keshes Classes app and sign up. Link is given in the description box. So in this video, we will discuss about how to solve quadratic equations using completing the square method. Now completing the square is an important logic that works on other topics as a method of solving. So let's start with an equation 9x square minus 15x plus 6 equal to 0. This is the equation that is given. So to solve by completing the square method, what do we have to do? This algebraic expression, this quadratic expression, we have to convert it into a perfect square. Now for that we have to first look at the first term, which is the first term that is 9x square. Now 9x square, we have to see whether it is a perfect square or not. A perfect square of some expression or not, whether it can be expressed as a perfect square of some expression or not. So yes, it can be expressed as a perfect square of 3x. 9x square can be expressed as 3x whole square. Now after this, what we need to do is, we have to change the middle term to this way. We have to change the middle term to this way. We have to change the middle term so that we get one of these two forms. That is a square plus 2ab plus b square or a square minus 2ab plus b square because a square plus 2ab plus b square is nothing but a plus b whole square and a square minus 2ab plus b square is nothing but a minus b whole square. So if we can bring this expression into one of these two forms, so we will whole square form. Pe mil now since here x wale term ke pehle ek minus sign hai, so we will try to bring this expression into this form a square minus 2ab plus b square that means that the minus 15x wala term we have to minus 2ab is tarah se express karna padega humne already first term ko a square is tarah se express kar diya hai 3x square that means this should be 15x should be something like 2 into 3x into something 2ab now a square a is 3x so 2 into 3x into something now what should that term be वो term ऐसा कुछ होना चाहिए जिससे कि ये multiply करके हमको 15x मिले now 2 into 3x अगर यहाँ पे है what we can do is we know that 3 into 5 is 15 so we can take 5 but यहाँ पे 3 into 5 is 15 और उसको 2 से multiply करने से हमको 30 मिल जाएगा whereas we want 15 so we take a divided by 2 so that the 2 gets cancelled out and 3x into 5 gives us 15x. So the middle term minus 15x will need to be expressed as minus 2 into 3x into 5 by 2. Now the middle term has come in the form 2 into a into b 2 into 3x into 5 by 2. So that means B के जगह पे कौन है? We have five by two. To complete this as a perfect square, a square minus two ab, we need a b square also. So that means यहाँ पे b जो है, that is five by two. उसका square भी हमको चाहिए होगा, so that this expression can be completed as a whole square. So that means we want a five by two whole square. But पहले तो हमारे पास यहाँ पे five by two whole square नहीं था इस expression में. That means we will also need to give another 5 by 2 whole square with a negative sign so that we can take one 5 by 2 whole square with a positive sign we have to take another 5 by 2 whole square with a negative sign because mm -hmm. pehle hamare paas is expression mein 5 by 2 whole square linked and yaha pe plus 6 tha usko bhi humko rakhna hai and this is equal to 0 now this part a square minus 2 into a into b plus b square this whole part becomes a minus b whole square so this can be written as a that is here by 3x minus b that is here by 5 by 2 whole square and this part ko hum kya karenge hum calculate kar lenge so we have minus 5 square 25 by 2 square 4 plus 6 equal to 0. Now what we can do is 
we can take the, these terms on the other side so we have 25 by 4 minus 6 so 3x minus 5 by 2 whole square has come out to be 1 by 4 that means 3x minus 5 by 2 would be equal to square root of 1 by 4 that is plus minus half now the last step we had got was 3x minus 5 by 2 equal to plus minus half so we have two roots one which we get by taking plus sign with the half and one which we get by taking minus sign so we get by simple calculation two values 1 and 2 by 3 these are the two roots of the equation now let's take another example 2x squared plus x plus 4 equal to 0. This is the equation. Now, as we have done in the last one, here we will check for the first term whether it can be expressed as a perfect square of some integer with x. So, if we look at 2x squared, 2 is not a perfect square of an integer. So, we can't express 2x squared as a perfect square of any integer with x. So, what do we have to do here? We have a very simple sa step yaha pe kar sakte we can just multiply with this number so we multiply the whole equation with 2 we have 4x square plus 2x plus 8 equal to 0 4x square plus 2x plus 8 equal to 0 so, jo x square ka coefficient tha, it was not a perfect square. So, we have multiplied the equation ko multiply kar diya. Now, we can express the first term, that is 4x square, as a perfect square of 2x. That is 4x square is 2x whole square. So, after this, we can proceed with completing the square, just like the previous one. Now, we have jo x wala term hai, uske a plus sign. Hai. So, we will use this form. So, let's express the middle term as plus 2ab. 2x needs to be expressed as 2ab. So, we have 2 into, now, a ke chaka yaha pe hamlo ke paas hai 2x. So, 2 into 2x into b. Now, we need a term such that this product is equal to 2x now already we have 2 into 2 that is 4x so we should have a 2 in the denominator that means we should multiply half of this karna chahiye, so that one of the two gets cancelled out and what remains is 2x now 2ab is equal to 2 into 2x into half and we need plus b square that means we have to take plus half square since we don't have it from before so we have to take another half square with a minus sign and the rest of the expression that is plus 8 will be there equal to 0 now this part corresponds to this 2x whole square plus 2 into 2x into half plus half square becomes of the form a square plus 2ab plus b square. So that becomes a plus b whole square. So we have 2x plus half whole square minus 1 by 2 square that means minus 1 by 4 plus 8 equal to 0. So 2x plus half square equal to, if we take these terms on the other side, we have minus 8 plus 1 by 4. Agar calculate karenge, minus 31 by 4. 
Now, we have got the value of a whole square as a negative number. A whole square ka value kabhi bhi negative nahi ho sakta. We know that because positive number ka square bhi positive hota hai and kisi negative number ka square bhi positive hota hai. So, kisi real number ka square negative nahi ho sakta. That means this equation does not have any real roots. We can solve it further and find out the roots in the complex domain because is it is equation ke complex roots honge but as far as real roots are concerned this equation does not have any real roots